The anime awards of 2024, the, the, the results are in. I have not taken a look at these. I just want to react to like the ones I care about and give my thoughts on if I agree or not. So let's hop right in. Obviously, we're starting off with anime of the year 2024 winner, JJK season two. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I saw some discourse on Twitter. So I guess I was like spoiled on this one, I guess. Vinland Saga season two did not win. Now, I'm just gonna, you know, say this now. I watched one episode of Vinland Saga season two. I, I, I want to watch it so bad. You know, I think I'm gonna watch some episodes right after I record this video because I just need to watch it because I know how peak it is. I just, everyone talks about it. Do I think like having not seen Vinland Saga season two, but knowing like that is peak. Do I think that it would deserve it over JJK season two? No, I don't think even after I watched Watch Vinland Saga, will I think that JJK deserved less? Because here, let me tell you, let me explain it to you guys. JJK season two had, it did something that like no other anime right now is doing. Like I understand Vinland Saga, you know, peak, great storytelling. I know, I, like, I, I, like I hear you, I, I'm a fan of Vinland Saga. Season one was a masterpiece. The last episode of season one, one of my favorite anime episodes of all time. But you guys have to understand, JJK season two was blowing everyone's mind, was breaking, not breaking the internet, but just demolishing everything every single week. You know, this is just my personal experience with JJK. Season one, I watched it when it was coming out. What was that? Like 2021. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I watched it every week. You know, I thought it was cool. Like, you know, exciting. Gojo was cool. You know, all that. But I wasn't that into it. I didn't even watch JJK zero until season two was about to come out. Cause I was like, yo, like I have to catch up. It's, it's, JJK Zero gas. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm excited for season two. As you guys know, season two starts with Hidden Inventory. Loved it. I loved the Hidden Inventory arc. Those five episodes plus JJK Zero made me fall in love with JJK, like way more than season one ever could have. Shibuya comes and week after week was blowing my fucking mind the fights were absolutely insane like mappa really did their thing like there's no way you can argue that jjk didn't like anything over like you can't like chainsaw man no demon slayer i didn't even watch the third season of demon slayer but i like i hear like it's not highly praised um i watched like a few episodes of it i haven't really gotten deep into it but like jjk it just did so many things right and like it by far was the best anime of the year I mean, i'm a one piece fan like i like one piece a million times more than jjk and this year we had gear 5 luffy versus kaido but do i think one piece is anime of the year no like J jjk just so many so many crazy things going on with jjk like just it deserves it but let me let me not ramble on one topic for too long let's go to best continuing anime series one piece of course like can i even can i argue that like attack on titan can i give it to attack on titan probably i mean i, I think attack on titan deserve to win it but like one piece not like the year one piece had you, you just can't you just can't beat one piece and i i like attack on titan more than one piece like personally they're like neck and neck for me and attack on titan ended this year like we got the finale beautiful ending but i just i think one piece just deserves it like don't even have to say too much on it like what do we have demon slayer fuck no get the fuck out of here JJK season two was amazing, but like it was anime of the year, but it's not the best continuing series. One Piece that has been continuing for 20 plus years, you know what I mean? It's Spy Family, get the fuck out of here. Why was that even like a nominee? And then Vinland Saga, like I just, you know, Vinland Saga, it doesn't hold a candle to One Piece. Best new anime series. Okay, so Chainsaw Man wins, but we have Bochi the Rock, Heavily in Delusion, Hell's Par Paradise, Oshinoko, and Zao 100. Now, I don't know what Bochi the Rock is. Heavenly Delusion, I never watched it. Hell's Paradise, I never watched. Oshinoko, I never watched. And then Zao 100, I watched the first episode of. So Chainsaw Man, I actually never even finished Chainsaw Man, but I watched like six episodes and I honestly think this is valid i don't think any other anime that was nominated really like the has what chainsaw man has like chainsaw man map up really killed it with like the animation and you know i was invested in chainsaw man when i was watching i really need to finish the first part but it was good like from what i saw it was good so i'm not mad at that at all best anime film i don't okay what 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 is that suzume i i never watched it i don't I, like i'm not really into the anime movies i see black clover swear of the wizard king was nominated that was a, a great movie but like i'm probably i'm sure Susan May probably has a better story than the Black Clover movie, let's be honest. Let's just move on. Best original anime, I don't watch any of these. Best animation, okay. I saw people going in 
on Twitter over Demon Slayer Season 3 winning this. Okay, Demon Slayer has some of the most consistent animation I've ever seen in all of anime. What are, okay, let's, what are the nominees? Attack on Titan, the, like the last episode. Uh, wait, the first special? Is that, is that the one before the finale? I, I, I guess it is, but either way, it doesn't matter. Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer, JJK Season 2, Mob Psycho, and Trigun. Now, Attack on Titan, no. Like, I love, like, MAPPA did their thing, but it's not better, that has, doesn't have better animation than Demon Slayer. Chainsaw Man, I think, can be argued, because, uh, uh, Mappa really cooked with that. Uh, JJK season two, it had, I, I heard that some of the episodes were unfinished. Nonetheless, the animation was absolutely outstanding throughout the entire season, and I was blown away. Some Tsukuna vs. Maharaga unfinished episode, but absolutely insane. What I say, I think JJK is the only, and Chainsaw Man are the only real, like, contender here for best animation. But like I said, I didn't watch Demon Slayer season three, or all of it. I watched, like, three episodes. But knowing Demon Slayer, like, I know Demon Slayer has super consistent animation. Is it awful to say that, like, it might deserve best animation? For me, I think it's probably between JJK season two and Demon Slayer. Like, I'm not mad at that, honestly. Like, people were freaking out on on Twitter, but like, what can you do about Twitter? Uh, best character designs we have Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer, House Paradise, Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, Oshino Code, Trigun Champion. So, but is this this is just from hidden inventory? Uh, best character designs, the fuck? Who was talking Toji was kind of clean? Like, Gojo just had his regular fit on, like the, the Jujutsu High fit, the fuck? Like, like character, like. I, I mean, I fucking, I guess, like, I feel like that could go to Chainsaw Man, like, Hell's Paradise, I know, has some crazy shit, like, Oshino, I feel like, I, I don't know if JJK deserves that one, I mean, okay, I mean, I don't really care, it's fucking character designs, best director, yes, give it to JJK, who else do we have, Attack on Titan, I feel like it could go to the AOT director, um, Chainsaw Man director, probably too, but, uh, I don't know, I just feel like the way, like, Hidden Inventory went, like, the direction that they took was really, like, go ahead, give it to him. JJK, I'm not mad at that. Best cinematography? Give it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Cinematography. Uh, I'm sure Chain Chainsaw Man has some good cinematography, but I'm sure Vinland Saga Season 2 probably also does. I feel like they're just glazing the fuck out of JJK at this point. Holy fuck. Uh, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Uh, best art direction? Demon Slayer? Sure. I don't know. Like, what does it mean by art direction? I feel like, I don't know. We're seeing a lot of best romance. I don't watch romance. I, I, I'm not against romance, but I just haven't watched it in the past year. Best comedy? No, I don't give a fuck. Best action anime. What do we have nominated? Attack on Titan? Bleach? Bleach? Wait, Bleach got nominated? What the fuck? Chainsaw Man, uh, Demon Slayer, JJK, and One Piece. One Piece? Best action? I feel like it could go to One Piece. Thousand Year Blood War? No, I don't think so. Attack on Titan? I feel like it could go to Attack on Titan Loki. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, JJK 100%. For me, it's really just between JJK and One Piece, and I feel like it can go either way. I'm not mad at JJK, but I feel like they're really sucking JJK's dick with these awards. Holy fuck. Best fantasy anime. What do, what do we have? Okay, I mean, Mashoku Tensei Season 2, I didn't hear much talk about it. I didn't hear much buzz, which is, uh, which, it kind of surprised me, because I know a lot of people like Mashoku Tensei. I watched, like, an episode, maybe? I don't know. It was, like, weird. I should, if you guys want to see me get back on it, like, I, I'm not opposed. Hell's Paradise. I didn't watch, like, any of the others, so... Demon Slayer, sure. Best drama anime? <laughs> Attack on Titan. Come on. Wrap that up. I feel like the only two options here are Attack on Titan or Vinland Saga. Let's be real. But I got Attack on Titan over Vinland Saga. You know, I suck Attack on Titan's dick. Yeah, you guys can't see, but I have Attack on Titan poster over here. Uh, actually, you can kind of see. It's like in the corner, like right here. But um, yeah, Attack on Titan, give it to it. Best Slice of Life. I don't watch Slice of Life. Get the fuck out of here. Best main character. My fucking goat, Monkey D. Luffy. Hold on, hold on. You see who that is? Monkey D. Luffy. Up here, Monkey D. Luffy. He's up there too, you guys can't see. I got, I got a, I got a One Piece tattoo that, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys, but I got a One Piece tattoo. That's how much I fucking love One Piece. Who do we have? Bochi the Rock Guy, Denji, fuck no, get the fuck out of here, Denji. Aaron Yeager, Mob, Monkey D. Luffy, Thorfinn. Only, only contenders here are Thorfinn, Monkey D. Luffy, and Aaron Yeager. Stop fucking playing. And even then, like, I haven't watched season two of Villain Saga, so get Thorfinn out of there for me. It's between Luffy and Aaron. Aaron is my favorite main character in all of anime, so I'd give it to Aaron, but... But Luffy is my second, so I'm not even mad at that. I fucking love Luffy and I love Aaron. Both of them. Both of them can have it. It doesn't fucking matter. Best supporting anime character, of course, Gojo. All the Gojo fangirls, obviously. Suguro Gato? Fuck no. Get the fuck out of here. Hanji? Who nominated Hanji? Who the fuck nominated? Like, I love Hanji, but who the fuck? Power? Get the fuck out of here. Gojo. Like, 
most protected at all costs anya okay like i can't even be mad at that pochita no no pochita should have won fuck anya spy family's ass anyway let me not piss off the spy family fans best anime song bro i need to react to this i need to react to this i heard so many people like hyping this shit up for me i really fucked with uh where our blue is the jjk hidden inventory opening i absolutely love that song that shit is so good kickback from chainsaw man is okay but where our blue is i really really fucking love that song best anime score yeah give it to attack on titan nobody nobody does it better than attack on titan when it comes to that shit i promise you best anime opening sequence here we go where our blue is what what do we have is you are or special is that not on here? But I don't. It doesn't fucking matter. But where, where our blue is so much better. So much. But it's the best JJK opening. What do we have? How? Okay. So how does Idol win best anime song? But this is best anime opening. I guess it takes into account the visuals of the opening. I thought the visuals were amazing. I I remember when this this opening got leaked and I reacted to it. That she got like 14k views, which is like a surprise because like came out of nowhere. I got copyrighted like fucking crazy on that video. That one, like I'm not even gonna lie. But that shit was leaked on Twitter and I watched it and and, and people were like reporting me because like I was reacting to it leaked like okay like i didn't fucking leak it i'm just watching it don't shoot the messenger you know what i mean best anime ending akari i actually bro that ending i actually like that song too yeah, hidden inventory they just did everything right like it was just perfect what else like i don't i didn't listen to any of these uh other endings that's anime voice artist performance gojo's voice actor mayumi tanaka why didn't luffy win i'm sorry no 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 fuck no fuck no you're telling me gojo wins over aaron over Aaron's voice actor, Yuki Kaji is the fucking goat. He has one of my favorite like voice acting performances in all of anime. It's when Aaron's breaking down like at the end of season two and he's just fucking screaming. Like nobody, how can you even compete with that man? Like get the fuck now, nah, get the fuck out of here. Best English voice actor, Denji for dub. Are you fucking shitting me? I didn't, I mean, I don't want, who are Johnny Young bought Ichigo probably should have won. I like Bleach's dub. Uh, and that's the only one other one I've seen like in terms of dub. Aizawa? Oh, that's not from, uh, I was thinking of fucking My Hero. The rest just, uh, voice actors? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just all fucking JJK, bro. JJK just dominated. I mean, it's like, people were saying, like, it's like a popularity contest, which, like, because, like, Villain Saga didn't win. But, like, that's kind of, like, how, like, voting works. I mean, like, the most popular thing would win, huh? You know what I mean? I mean, I will make a follow-up follow video once I watch Villain Saga Season 2. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to at this point. Cause people are really mad that Villain Saga didn't win, but like, like I said, like JJK was just doing numbers. Like it was just week after week, banger after banger. Like it's just like you just don't see that with any other anime. Like it just just wasn't scenes. But uh, I hope my takes weren't too crazy. I hope you guys can like understand what I'm saying. I mean, like I'm not I'm not mad at this. I mean, there's a few like little you know like what the fuck are we doing? You know what I mean? But like overall, I don't feel like this is like too bad. I, I have definitely slacked on my anime watching. Like, like this past year so like i just need to i need to catch up on everything and uh stay on top of it so i can really be making these discussions and you know getting deep into it with you guys but uh hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.